a busy Grand Rapids intersection is getting a traffic light, and some say it's been coming. It's been a long time coming. 13 on your side's Keely Lovern is joining us from the intersection of Fuller and Plainfield. And Keely, why is there so much attention on this particular spot? Good evening, you guys. Well, if you're someone who lives or travels here on the northeast side of Grand Rapids, you probably know this intersection well here at the intersection of Fuller Avenue and Plainfield Avenue. Grand Rapids tells us that more than 20,000 cars travel through this intersection every day. And not only that, for one family, it's the place where their 18 year old son died in a motorcycle accident just over two years ago. His loved ones call it Trevin's Corner. My son, Trevin Potter, was killed here um, two years ago on June 1st. He was on his motorcycle. Trevin was traveling on Plainfield Avenue from Grand Rapids when he was hit by a young girl in her car, turning left onto Fuller. He had just purchased his very own motorcycle. And my phone rings, and so I answer it, and I'm like, hey, you know, how is the new bike? And it was his girlfriend screaming that my son was laying on the road, and they had a blanket over him. The corner is now home to a memorial for Trevin, where his family visits on the first of every month, Christmas, and his birthday. This is, you know, where he ended his life and doing what he loved most, riding his bike. And each time they're here, they say they can tell how this intersection isn't a safe one. And putting in a traffic light has been a long time coming. Like it's about time. People just don't even, they don't stop. They just, they don't even like, they it, treat it as a curve. It's very needed and it's a busy corner. Something that analysis done by the city of Grand Rapids has found too. I mean, I think we could definitely see an increase in uh, the crash data, which is what prompted the discussion about this install. So even as Trevin's family continues to grieve the loss of their son, they say his memory will always be here. Here's a work glove that wasn't here the last time I came and it's the same brand that he always uses. And that the new traffic light is a good start. I was like, oh, I'm really glad, but you know, at the same time, for us, it's like it doesn't change what happened to my son there. Um, but I'm thankful that it's going to help others. So just about a year anniversary after Trevin's death, one of his close friends started the Trevin Potter Foundation, and that's a program where up to $5,000 in scholarship money will be given to a local 17 to 23 year old who's interested in learning and going into the motorcycle or automobile industry and working just like Trevin had the passion of doing. So it lives on in his honor. Reporting live in Grand Rapids, Keely Lovern, 13 on your side.